Welcome to Adapter Ecclesi. Thank you for joining the channel. Excited to watch this video. Um, I think there is a simple, straightforward question on selector that applies such a question. I, I like doing these questions because it, they are not going to go away. They will, this, whether with the traditional uh, anklets or the uh, new generation, the new generation is just a combination of the traditional and a new form of such a question. They, in fact, they're going to, you're going to see more set the questions by in different flavor. Either some you choose two answers, or some you choose three answers, or some you choose based on the disease process they've given you, or comparing certain diagnosis, um, DI or SIDH or something like that based on the question. So just be comfortable. And if you want to be more comfortable, um, check the link and click on adapt and click and subscribe. And you will see more videos on how to answer set the question. So let's get to read one straightforward question and to answer it. So this is a neural question. The way we answer our question on a selected apply is to read the question from the back. So set the question, select the one that apply. What is being asked by Miss Your asked is which nerve should the nurse assess to evaluate intact eye movement? So make assessment to show intact high movement. And what is your case? Your case said a client sustained a penetrating high injury after a car accident. So car accident, okay, and then injury to the eye. What are the buzzwords that are given? We have eye injury. We need to make assessment to make sure there's no injury to the eye muscle or the initial impact muscle what is what do you need to answer this question you go to your content so you go with your asked your case your password and your content so the content to answer this question is a neural uh, case these are cranial nerve um, people usually are afraid of it they're scared of it but check the link we have great videos on how to learn about the neuro videos on neural uh, aspect of the anklets straightforward they are simple if you know it you choose the answer and you move on and the way to answer this one is to use acronym on the cranial nerve you can if you know it fine uh, you don't have to take this idea but if you don't know it this is the way i do it if you check online there's so many techniques but the way to remember them is oh 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 Okay, to take, okay, her family vacation, go Vegas after hours. So O is the first cranial nerve, which is the uh, olfactory. That smell two is your optic, that is visual acuity. Three is the oculomoto, that's eye movement. Four is trochlear, is also eye movement. Five is trigeminal, is mostly sensory. Six is adducence, eye movement. Seven facial, moral facial expression. Eight is vestibular cochlear, that means balance. Okay, nine is glossopharyngeal, that's swallowing, gag reflex. Ten is vagus, also involved in swallowing. Eleven is, is accessory muscle, shrugging of your shoulder. And 12 is the tongue, hypoglossal, tongue movement. There's three cranial nerves that involve in your eye movement. And you control your eyeball, your gaze. This is the exams you do. You ask the patient to follow your hand or a pen light without no moving their head. And so one is olfactory is not two is always confuse people 
is uptake is involving visual acuity but not high movement. Three is oculomoro based on your, the name, oculo eye movement. Four is choker eye movement. Five is the trigeminal, which is all sensory. It doesn't involve with moral function. Six is the abducens, also eye movement. And seven is facial expression. When you're expressing, you're smiling, that's your facial name. So the answer is three, four, and six. So these are the cranial nerves that are involved in high movement. And as you can see, if you know your content, it's straightforward. You don't have to struggle. You just go straight. So check and talk to anchors for more content on neuro and how to do select or apply. The key thing is I never compare anything. I know my content, I take my content, and I'm looking for answers based on my content. And I'm not going to compare any answers. I just move from the top and go down, make a decision, move forward. This is how you answer select or apply. Take care of yourself and subscribe to the channel if you have not, if you need to learn more how to do this, including, including the next generation, check my doctor and close and we'll be glad to help you. And join us on Saturdays for free Zoom and lectures. Thank you very much and have a great day.